How do you reflect on the other night, Greg? Um, difficult opponent. I think we uh, competed well for the first half. You can probably say lose a... How would you put us? Maybe a sloppy goal, losing from a set piece um, just before half time, but that can happen. And then uh, obviously you're well in the game second half, and the red cards obviously are big moments in the game and probably change it. What encouragements can you take from that game going into the rest of the campaign? I think it's um, it shows that we can compete at that level for sure. We uh, knew that going into the game. There's um, a lot of us have gained experience from last year. But there's also there's there's new boys come into the team who they'll learn from that as well. That it's their probably first time of competing at that level, and we'll get stronger as the competition goes along. How much of a gear change is it when you come from Champions League back into Premiership? Yeah, it says it is a big change, of course. Um, but the one thing that this club demands is winning, and that's the that's the exciting part is that every game you've got to give the same focus, the same performance, and the fans uh, expect that and demand that. Mm. Is it physically challenging as well, mentally challenging? I think it's physically demanding in both ways. Um, the the Champions League is the elite, so you're you're pushing your body to the very limit. But then, of course, you'll play Saturday and maybe a change in style. Livingston will be quite physical, so you're uh, that's again another challenge. So it's just something you've got to deal with. How do you feel your roles changed under Brendan compared to Ange? Not that much, to be honest. Um, We've, uh, we've, we're trying to improve as we go along. There's, um, we're getting better. The uh, the manager's very clear in what he's trying to uh, build here. It's, um, but he's also clear in saying that he loved the way we played previously, and that is fast attacking football, and that's in Celtic's DNA. So hopefully that can uh, continue, and hopefully we can continue to try and improve and show that. Obviously missing key players in the back line. <clears throat> how well do you think the lads have adapted to the changes? I think that's. Just what football is these uh, now. It's uh, so important you've got a strong squad and a team like Celtic. We're uh, we're lucky that we've got lots of players that can be called upon. And when you've got Scalesy and Lager playing at the moment, they've um, they've done outstanding. I think um, considering that they they probably would be the first time they maybe didn't expect to get thrown in straight away, but uh, that's what happens and they've dealt with it. One thing is for sure when you go to Livingston, you you're going to be in for a test, aren't you? For sure. Yeah, it's been difficult games every time we've played there. Um, David Martindale sets up his team really well. He knows um, what their strengths are and plays to it. So um, we've got to be aware of that, but also just focus on our own strengths and try and play our football. You nice. scored there last season, right? I scored there last season. Yeah, that's a nice, nice memory. That was a nice goal to be I enjoyed that. <laughs> can, I, can I ask you again about, you talk briefly about Liam Scales. How impressed have you been with how, he, how he's done since he came in? Yeah, he's done really well, and I think he done really well. To be fair to him, when he was on loan at Aberdeen last year, um, we always didn't get to play against him. But any time you got to see any of the games, I thought he equipped himself really well. And he's just uh, he's taken that into this season. He's um, came with a new manager trying to impress, and I think when he's uh, been given his opportunity, whether that was pre season or the the more recent games, he's he's taken it. He's obviously had the, the biggest <coughs> test you could have as well so far. And these these three or four games, you know, Rangers away and then. Champions League as well, and he's come through them with looking kind of flying colours. Isn't it? Yep, exactly. Um, so I'm sure they can be pretty pleased with his um showings, but I think it certainly the other night he'd rather it was um in a in a one. Craig, just just talking about the defence there, you look at the back line on Tuesday night yourself, Magby, Elka, Scales, Johnson, <coughs> all of them making their Champions League debuts, group stage debuts. It, you've been there, played your Europa League games. You feel like you're almost one of the senior voices in the team now. Do, do you feel that's your role in the team? Yeah, probably because I've been here one of the longer um, servants at the club now. So, um, yeah, I'd probably say that I am maybe one of the more vocal t- ones in the team. But everyone plays their part, whether it's they're uh, vocal or they're leading by example. Um, when it's when we're on the pitch, everyone is uh, out there giving their all for the club. Do you realise being one of the senior boys? I enjoy it, yeah. I am not shy in chatting. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but neither is guys like Ali Johnson, as I'm sure you... Well, no. Um, so, no, um, we've got a good group. It is a young group, but a lot of boys are um, not um, shy in giving their opinions or whether they want to. They just all want the same thing, and that is for us to improve and continue to grow. Just looking back to, to when you first moved to the club, obviously there's so much pressure when you come in, especially as, as a Scottish defender that you come in. Did you ever think that you know, in three, four years down the line you would be one of the senior players playing in the Champions League week in, week out, one of the first names on the team sheet? I would say, yeah, I did, because you've got to have that inner self-belief. Of course you did. I'm sure many others didn't. That's the reality of it. But um, 
that's been pretty much most footballers' journey is about trying to prove people wrong, and I think you've got to have that in, in you that you want to continue to do that. Um, I said something when I signed that was like I'm that was delighted to sign for a club of size, but the hardest part was trying to make yourself a regular, and that has proved the case that it's not easy. You've always got someone trying to breathe down your neck, um, to take your position. So, uh, yeah, I just want to continue to improve and try and play as many games as I can for the club. Did you feel that quite a lot then, Greg? Saying you had to prove some people wrong. I think everyone does, whether it's footballers, whatever walk of life. That's them. That is the challenges that life you face in life, and um. Yeah, it's just what drives most people on and it certainly tries to drive me on. Do you, do you feel your voice has grown? You know, you, you're more vocal now than you were when you first came in. Is that, or are you always just like that anyway, the personality? I think naturally I'm loud, but um, I, I would say probably as the more games you play and the more comfortable you feel, you, you grow in stature and people begin to respect, probably respect your opinion a wee bit more. Yeah, that happens. I mean, you've got a lot of, over the last... Two years, maybe a lot of new players here as well. Do you see that them growing as well in the same sort of way? Just, just being a more you know focal and running around the, the the dressing room and the pitch as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, you've got guys like Cam who is is more naturally quiet, but the way he he shows us in his performances, and um, we've got boys that have come in settled in really well this year. So I'm sure they'll be as the time goes on, they'll be begin to show their voice in the changing room as well.